Hey folks, Daily Lance blog for the 23rd of May, 2021. Here was my sequence of events today and it was uh, the way it all worked out. Uh, it's kind of unusual, but here's what I'm talking about. So at around one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, I had this uh, great conversation with a 15 year old person who has been suffering from emetophobia off and on, but now totally on for the last handful of years. And I wanted to speak to her because uh, I thought I had something really good to offer. And that really good to offer was, hold on, before you say anything, let me talk about my experiences with menophobia from the time I was probably five or six years old. Here's how it shook down for me. Here's how it felt with me. Here's my symptoms. Here's the things that I never told anyone, but I would love to have told someone if they would have understood me. And I went through all of those things and, you know, I could see her doing this. And then eventually it was like, so I said, so is that you? And she said, you know, <laughs> like that describes exactly what goes on in my head. And then got an email uh, that says, not sure if you've talked about this before on the show, which of course I have, but uh, hello, you're not watching all 1800 of these suckers? Man, that's insulting. Have you uh, talked about kids with mental health issues? My son is 12 and suffers from anxiety, OCD, and depression. Imagine how overwhelming that can be. I can certainly over, uh, I can certainly imagine that. I, and I, I would say that the lesson that I learned today, knew it before, and I said it actually on the uh, Lance blog that he was responding to, that uh, if I could have spoken to someone who had experienced or was experiencing what I was going through when I was a kid, would have made a huge difference, a huge difference. So find someone who won't just say, hey, I'm here to listen. I'm here to help. Those are great words, but they don't mean nearly as much as if someone says, I'm here to listen, I'm here to help, and I understand you. So find someone that would understand your son. And then there was Lorraine Bino, who, by the way, uh, messages us every day. She said, surprisingly, I find the sound of someone vomiting comforting. The hell's that? At SickNoteWeek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year.